game. Quadra AP composition, which you're about to see flash <laughs> on your screen. Fnatic 0-1 in this best of five. Hit us up on Twitter, hashtag FNCWin, hashtag SKTWin, see if... Without a grab. Grab. though, look at the answer here. Well, let's see if it works out. Rainover, he is going to get in with the body slam, lands the barrel, summon a heal already, but Yellow Star, that's a flash into a two-man stun. Acid Hunter goes out. Steve oh, goes for the first blood. That's Meta bait because, hey, I've got an Avarice Blade. Oh, There's no way we're going to have a back. juggler down here. Oh, steel back does have flash, does have heal. Boomerang goes out. He manages to put the Terra Capacitor up, but Bengi sinks his fangs they in. Left that's a teleport from Moody <laughs> at level five. Trade one for one, and it looks like Huni is going to get And expecting Huni to come in, and they're getting punished for it, right? Huni, who was able to shove up his wave before teleporting. It was a great time for him to go for this teleport. Uh-oh. Uh Oh, they're going to think about diving. Yellow Star doesn't have his stun yet. They get the teleports out of Marin. The hook. That's the play backwards. Now Wolf is in trouble. Hootie's trying to get one in reply. He All gets right. the kill. He flashes out, but Marin flashes forward. Boomerang Blade slows him down. The equalizer's on the back line. Rainover unable to keep Marin in place long enough. And now Rainover thinking about the kill on Bang. He's going to back away. We do see them. Blade a little bit more as well. Nope, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to give you a chance, Monty. Hooney is going to throw down that shield, trying to get away. Rainover over's a long way, and now Hoonie's yeah. overheated. Wolf and Morin trying to chase. So. Morin is going to dismiss the stun. In fact, Nas Hooney against the wall. Hooney's now got a little bit longer to, to stay up. To revisit. Oh, now, come on! He's <laughs> visiting Hooney. You talked about SKT playing around Hooney, and now they are doing it. Equalizer is down. It's Korean on Korean battle, and it's Hooney that wins! Hooney takes down Faker in a 2v1! Rainover's hooked. Oh my word, Rainover's knocked up and he's taken out. Way to ruin Honey's, Honey's mo So this could easily turn into multiple members down bottom. And it will, Yellowstar sidesteps a death sentence. He has a teleport from Hooney. Steelback is gonna swap Bang in. Yellowstar stays alive. Steelback has got the kill onto Bang and the Equalizer's looking for more. Now Hooney lands an Electro Harpoon onto Mara who TP down as well. The crunch comes down, the Gnar goes back. What? The death sentence goes wide and Fnatic are able to pick themselves up one for zero with Rainover threatening a re-engage. I don't understand why SKT is committing right here and Rainover in the tri brush. They're going for it. Here comes Huni. The flame spit is on and a three man stun. Yellow Star holds SKT under the tower. Steelback 3 1 and 1. That's a double kill. Turns on to Morin. Steelback unable to get the kill credit, but now Faker once more. He sparrow rushes in. Huni gets taken down. That's a lot of gold to Faker as Faker lands the charm onto Steelback. It's a. W Just misjudging the distance as well. So it was also mechanical. Mechanical misplays from SKT, which are very rare. However, it holds true. They still are able to convert. A little bit unlocked. Let's we'll see if that pays to, to be the case. The steel back gets played back. It's about to lose a minion. It's getting ah, by the death the, the stunt comes out, and that was a misplay from Yellow Star. They turn their attention to Yellow, and he's going to get caught out as well. Movement speed from Bang on the hunt goes backwards. Not really 100% sure. Yellow Faker, but it bite me too late because he's already here. There's no tower to 2v1 this time around. Faker takes a lot of damage from that flame spinner. There is an hourglass available. Hootie throws it down, but Fibbiv is too far away. And it looks like Faker and Marin will get themselves a kill. Marin is teleporting in. Death Sentence doesn't connect. Dragons down to 2,000. SKT are coming in close. Equalizer gets thrown down across all of oh. SKT. And Dragon's still alive in the back line. Rainover's going low, but no kills on the board. Bingy is being focused by four, and it's Bevervin that gets the kill. Hooney chunks down Wolf and Morin about to go Mega Knot. He will transform, but as he flashes over the wall, Dragon was still left standing. Two for zero in favor of Fnatic. Steelback flashed to Urgot Ultimate Faker at the start of the fight, and Faker already spirit rushes away from all of the action there. To take control of the mid game in Europe, they would simply wait for the Dragon timer and then force you to face check or give up the Dragon. Hooney gets jumped on by Mega Knot Morin. Still a minute away before that dragon spawns, and Marin still chasing down with that Banshees and Hex Drinker and Giant Spell Huni. He wants does to not want that fight yeah, at all. He wants to either get the ultimate or the flash out of Huni. Oh! Hourglass! He manages to survive, but Marin.
Teleport is gonna get the kill. Huh. Who hold here? But nothing hits. Did teleport. Never all. It didn't look like Marin teleported in. Bengi's actually flashed in for this fight. Here comes Marin. Meganar getting close to popping. Landing auto attack after auto attack. Who needs Should chase shortly. A steal back. He flashes forward. Position reversal. Massive distortion comes out. Bengi's low. Fake is low. Bang's low. But it's Wolf that's down. Mahuni has spawned and he's dropped the equalizer in the back line to drop Faker. Now Morin will be the next to fall as he throws the chimney, the house, and Rain overthrows the barrel in a moment. That is a clean ace for Fnatic. Booty. Exactly what they need to actually close out this game. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Fnatic at their finest. On LeBlanc and Faker is actually the one with the non-factor mid laner this time around. Now, Bang really taking that big hit in the laning phase and not being able to make teleport plays into bottom. Fnatic has had everything their way. Well, Rainover gets caught out, equalizer's available. Marin oh. does try to land the knob, but does not manage to connect. They find the kill onto Rainover, oh. and the equalizer is melting SKT! Double kill for Huni. He turns his attention to Bengi. Flame Spitz is throwing out, and Bengi's in retreat. Huni from Fnatic and drag this game out a little bit longer. Yeah, 20 seconds till the next dragon. They might not be able to get it. Huni uh -oh. forced to flash. Equalizer comes out. He gets knocked up before he can hourglass. Equalizer puts some damage down, but it's not enough. And Featherfin is a year and a half away. That's a start of the bang and Faker. The damage dealers. Rainover's got Faker. Now we see Bengi peeling away. Morin left alone in the middle lane as Rainover's trying to run down Wolf. Morin turns Beganar. Stays alive a few seconds longer before Featherfin takes him down. Dragon has spawned Rainover and Fnatic will have the pick of the litter when it comes to objectives. And Rainover's looking for more. He should find Wolf, Bengi, and Bang should get away unless Yellow Star has something to say about it. He's going to look for a stun. Good be very careful. Here comes the rest of Fnatic. That's a knockup. Yellow Star, sacrificial lab. He gets one. Feverman looks for more. This will be another ace for Fnatic. I mean, I don't know what to say. You don't want to have mess. And Fnatic has capitalized on every advantage that they've been given. Yep, both times. Uh, Huni. Uh-oh. Under attack again. Huni's in trouble. And Equalizer comes out. That's not good enough. Faker gets the kill. They do get her. But it is creeping in there. Uh, keep in mind, inhibitor turrets have not been touched for a while. Lauren's got Meganar. Oh. They're going to do a Fnatic death push onto Fnatic. There's no, no teleport Huni. available. Rainover's in trouble. He's been focused down by three. Where is the position reverser? Rest of Fnatic in the top lane. Rainover's keeping them busy. They're going to trade jungler for jungler. Huni does not have equalizer. Keep an eye on that cooldown. As Steelback has already channeled his ultimate. Marin's in the middle, mid. though. Oh, never mind. Oh! Feather than never mind. Looking for a stun. And onto Faker. Means that Fnatic should secure this inhibitor. Well, one more little love tap, gentlemen. As they do take it down. And with a 15,000 gold lead and super minions and a LeBlanc that can one shot almost anything. They're looking for more. Faker's stunned up. He's going down. And it's Featherbin that gets the kill. Fnatic with a five on four. And equalizer. Looking for more. Marin getting chunked out. Fnatic looking towards the Nexus star. Rain over eats a death sentence, but I don't think it will matter. Bengi's down. Featherbin is 10, 0, and 5. That's the win loss ratio of Faker. And they're <laughs> going to be adding another one if Fnatic. Fnatic has anything to say about it, but SKT have defended the Nexus Tards for now. Yellow Star has still not died on any support. One of the most dangerous supports to use, and he's been constantly flashing in for amazing stuns as well. Let's see whether or not he can get any more. 20 seconds for Bengi. Rainover eats another death sentence, but the Nexus Tower will get shredded. Next one is being focused, and SKT will be looking to lose the first map at the mid-season Invitational. Fnatic are now on to the Nexus. They are challenging the number one team from Korea as Huni's taken down. The Nexus will fall, and it's 1-1 one, one, Fnatic. Great game for Fnatic. Really well played. They got the fights they wanted. They used their composition properly to scrap it out in the early game. And SK Telecom falling apart, not having the patience to wait for when they were strong. Definitely a lot of uh, worrisome moments there from SK Telecom. Mechanical misplays, map movement misplays, a lot of things to clean up here. And I, I think they really have to pay uh, more respect to Huni in these matches, and they they have to think more 
ahead about when they're going to be using these teleports because if you are weaker, even sometimes if you're stronger because of how good Huni is in some of these two.